to another Mars Play video. This is Mars Mojito, and today we're gonna be picking up where we left off with oxygen not included. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so we're picking up where we left off with oxygen not included. Now, um, we got a couple people here and we were still looking around at their different skill sets making sure that we had all the different areas uh covered uh i'm going with a specialist approach so uh every individual uh, i'm going to try to get, have them specialize in a certain skill and just make sure that i kind of divide up um what type of people i have uh similar to other games um requiring the community management you know with your different workforce and stuff like that so i'm gonna go through here and look at everyone's skills make sure that i'm putting points in the right areas and then we're going to continue on with building up our our base all right so we got uh some more Blueprints to choose from. Um, I like this person because they got night owl trait and I'm definitely want to split up the work shifts. Maybe have some people work during the day and some at night. So I'm um, going to go ahead and get her pulled in, have her immediately put to work. Everyone else, uh, power is always going to be an issue. So I definitely need to have at least one or two people dedicated to just generating power for us. Uh, then the other two or three people, I want them to be going around doing just maintenance and building up the uh, base. So um, still got quite a few areas to um, clear out, but I'm going with the row approach, which has been a pretty common strategy that I've seen in uh, other uh, videos about this game. Um, and we'll see how high we can go. Uh, we've got some water blocking the ladder down there. And Max is just sitting there crying. I'm not sure why. Um, but, oh, I see. He needed some food. Okay, so he's back moving back to work. And uh, building the ramps down low. We'll get that water drained out. And uh, get that rock down there removed as well. So we have a another level. Okay, so the goal is to make sure that every worker has a outhouse. Uh, so I need to have an equal number of not only beds, but outhouses built for all, all of my duplicates, as they call them in this game. Um, and now we're getting a yellow alert. I'm not quite sure what that means, but maybe the air quality is dropping. Um, but I got a couple oxygen generators and some carbon monoxide cleaners uh, going um, I'm, it's nighttime so I already have people going to bed um, one bed seems to be blocked by some rock I'm not sure if you can still use it or not um, I got two people sleeping on the ground so I'm short two beds um, Ah, so we're going to go ahead and get the, that rock cleared out and then that way everyone has a bed to sleep in and they wake up rejuvenated. Perfect. So got a new day going. 
got a bed cleared i need to continue to clear out the rock there so that i can add another bed because i believe i have six duplicates and i definitely want to make sure that we get their sleeping arrangements good their outhouse hygiene arrangements good i got one sink i'm probably gonna have to add at least two more um and and we should be good to go now power is always a problem as you can see everything keeps shutting off because i don't have anyone dedicated to power right now so uh, a lot of flashing red lights uh which tells me i'm i got some supplies on the ground that need to be put away i do have some storage bins being constructed up top they're just not completely finished but I do have a couple workers up there uh, trying to finish those up. So we have a place to put all these rocks, uh, sandstone, everything that's sitting on the ground. We have a place to actually put them. So we're going to keep it going. Um, there we go. We just finished up all of our storage bins. So that's eight storage bins up there. I'm going to go ahead and turn on filters to make sure uh, certain storage bins get certain resources. For now, I'm just doing all just to get stuff off the ground, but I'll probably come back and be a little bit more specific on what I want in there. So these will be my sweep ones only. So everyone else, all these loose pieces of rubble on the ground, we'll go ahead and, and get that uh, put away. So we should see some people running around with vacuums, sucking up all the debris. so as we clear this area here um, we've got a couple new layers that we can explore I need to find a place for this water to, to go to so um, maybe I I'll build some kind of pool over here and to trap that water in so that we can continue expanding in that area so yeah once I break the surface that water is just gonna come spilling out so we're gonna have to plan this out a little bit better we got two two areas of water down below uh, counting how many squares I need to go across and then uh, just kind of matching I'm trying to keep it consistent and matching the same length for every row and um, make holes where I need to so things can drain appropriately the air quality isn't that great I, I still see a lot of floating kind of oily looking air it means it still has a uh, high levels of uh, carbon dioxide most likely but I, I need to get more oxygen generators set up so that we can clean this air up and it won't be so bad for our folks we'll go ahead and put some dividers in there um, this is going to be kind of like a pool area I guess you could say Uh, 15 tiles should be good. So we'll go ahead and clear that out. And let's see here. Maybe drop it. I'm trying to figure out where to open up the gap so the water will just rush in. Hmm. So we'll just leave it there. We just ended the construction for one of the areas. We'll just let that water drain right in. So one of our duplicates will have to come over and start shooting from the bottom to make that hole. And then once that's drained out, we can continue on with that level.
All right, so taking a zoom out uh, view, uh, this is what we got so far. A lot of the areas or the, the little icons that were red before are now white because I actually have storage uh, that my people can pick up the little rocks and stuff on the platform. They actually have a place to put them now, but I still got a couple areas that are red. So that tells me that either I don't have the right type of storage or I need to build a little bit more so that everything on screen is flashing white uh, with no red. Um, my oxygen level is going up as you can see it says very breathable according to where my arrow is and it appears to be looking pretty good there a lot of the poisonous gas is starting to get uh, broken down and, and removed by the uh, oxygen generators so that's a good sign um, looks like everyone has a place to sleep now so I don't see anyone passed out on the ground anywhere. Um, so that's a good thing. And eventually what I'll have to do is make sure that both sides of the room is sealed off because I heard that the little light creatures like you see at the top and tend to float around in there if they get there and just distract everyone, wake people up and interrupt their sleep. So uh, a lot of things to do. And um, we're just going to keep an eye on this breathable gas and just pretty much go from there as my people sleep for the night. Okay, so right now, um, I haven't been giving my duplicates uh, any instructions because it seemed like when I give them tasks to do, like build tasks and stuff like that, they ignore all the little things. So right now, I'm just going to just kind of keep the mouse where it is. Uh, this is one of those types of games where you can kind of walk away and you can put people to work, walk away and come back a little time later and, you know, people are still at it either generating power or, or whatever. So 
there's quite a few pieces of um, minerals uh, sitting on the floor. I need my duplicates to go around and scoop those all up and put them away. Uh, got at least two duplicates there generating power, which is, you know, what we need to keep the air getting cleaned. So everyone's busy, even without me giving them orders or direction on what to do. They're automatically taking care of business. So uh, we're going to just leave it here like we have, uh, say, the last, you know, the last five or five or six minutes or so and just let them do their thing. And hopefully we can get majority of the resources just sitting there cleaned up. Okay, so at this point, I think um, we're gonna go ahead and put a bookmark in the video. We're gonna come back, continue to clean up, clean up our base, expand it, improve our sleeping and hygiene quarters, and go from there. So as usual, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps out the channel. And we will see you in the next video.